My name was class. Uh, the stag do. Talking about old white men. In between that. Hang on, where did you do the cocaine? Was it in the toilet? In the, the yes. Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah, and the like the door didn't fit and it was held together by rope and this woman was waiting for me. It was like a god woman. Like, you know, proper like <laughs> navy two-piece. Do you know what I mean? Just, just like librarians. Yeah, are you forgetting the name of something when you say a god woman? Did she work at the church? I think she was like a volunteer. She was pottering about pre-service. Oh, she's po- she will... Might be one of the elders. Oh, I'm on the text, isn't it? She's on the fucking... Yeah, yeah. yeah. Give a light to the vicar. <laughs> Wrap this up. Maybe um, she's the organ she's player. She's the one who gets the in order when you're doing the bread. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And I was clearly yeah, do, yeah. doing fake and not disguising it very well because I didn't know anyone was there. Do you know what I mean? I, they, they was hearing what was going on. So we had a sort of awkward conversation. After. Yeah, you're either doing beak or trying to get a really good whiff of your own shite. <laughs> <sighs> what have I had? <laughs> so she said, oh, I'm sorry, the the door don't fit. And I went, oh, yeah, you'd think it'd be better with his son being a carpenter and that. And that, that <laughs> swear down. Man's life said Come that. Of course he said yeah. that. Yeah. <laughs> didn't, go, didn't, didn't land, but, you know. <laughs> it didn't land. No, she just. Did she go get his son? <laughs> yeah, I'm next. Get out of here, lad. <laughs> um, Stag do was class, so we made s- sneaked loads of uh, cat and beak up his ass, stormed right to the front of the airport queue. Oh, right, good. You were going on the airport. You weren't going back to Blackpool. No. Um, yeah, no one. The I first was... fella never gets fingered, does he? Yeah, Fact. I got I got my pubes stroked, like just really caressed by <laughs> a god the man, the airport man. Which what? airport? Manchester. Were you kicked right. off? No, he was he was checking oh. like the lining of my shorts, but it was a bit seductive, I thought. Private room? No, in public. I don't mind, I'm not sure. What in the queue? Uh do you like when you go through and something beats? I had metal in my shorts. Like what a was metal it? do you like one of those like string things with a metal thing on the end? Jamie keeps his pound coins in his undies. <laughs> Yeah. Um I know I know I've had a couple of beers, but I'm I'm struggling to keep like what metal can you have in your shorts? On the lace? On the oh, lace. oh right, yeah, yeah, all right, cool, cool. What's cool. it's got a name, so, hasn't it? At the end of a lace, can't remember what it's called. I know you Yeah, so he he, he was just checking me that I didn't have anything and uh he just stroked my pubes. Um on the holiday itself. So it was a it was <laughs> you know, I've discovered about myself. Where'd you go? Marmaris. Turkey. Nothing. Sorry, mate. To, no, what is mate? Went to Marmaris. Went to Marmaris on me scuppered. Until Turkey, mate. Turkey, mate. Um, yeah, so uh, uh, we got to uh, Marmaris. My mate had sneaked loads of drugs. I was like, fuck, it's great. And what I've discovered about myself, this was the perfect group of people, right? In terms of balance, we were split into, like, sensible people who can go spazzy. Spazzy people who can go sensible and like extreme spectrum spaz, which I took care of. Um, and I've, what I've discovered about myself is I've not got a talent as such. I can't draw or sing, play guitar. I've got no coordination. Can't use tin openers. <laughs> such a talent. <laughs> it's the honesty in it. It's just the- Anything like that. And I've discovered what my talent was six weeks ago. I know group dynamics instinctively <laughs> and how to act. So if I'm out with a Lampard and a Veron, I'll be a Makalela. If I'm out with a... <laughs> Conversely... That's the most niche 2003 <laughs> Premier League reference. <laughs> but Did they all play at Chelsea? Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. They took Veron off Man United's hands and they were like, that didn't work. But conversely, if there's a a Mount with a Paul Telfer and a Chris Marsden, (laughs) I'll be Mount with Sissy, eh? You've got the flair as well. (laughs) You're the James Milner. Yeah, I'm adaptable. Of stag dues. Whatever whatever the role the boss needs you to play. Yeah, I can bring flair and just know it instinctively. These need someone Jamie, to... These be honest, to I don't want to fuck your story up. Did you pre-plan to use those as an example? Because that I, is so fucking unbelievably random no, and beautiful. No, I said... I, I, well, what happened was, the first night, I, I was... A lot of stuff happened to me on that stag, dude. 
<coughs> the first night I blacked out with my mate, I had to carry me home. A sensible. Every spaz was matched with a sensible room wise to, you know, make sure everyone's yeah, yeah. safe, right? <laughs> um and uh he dragged me home and he was a bit pissed off because I'd sort of ruined the night. I threw a kebab at him because I get a bit arsy when I'm told I have to go home. I don't want to go home, but no club would let me in anymore because I was just fucking... Can't relate. <laughs> <laughs> I just can't go. Uh, I can't bring myself to go home. It's just like an admission of defeat. Um, and the next day, he was like, fucking hell, mate. Like, not having a go, but just like, come on, man. You can't be doing that. And I went, I didn't, he went, it's, it's just like selfish. I went, I did it for the group. <laughs> they needed a bit of sparkle. They needed a bit of gold dust on the night. So I got fucking completely wired well, and pissed. Aid. Exactly. <laughs> so um, that was the first night. The second night, I found another thing about myself. I am very adaptable in the wild. Surprisingly so. So I got I got lost from my friendship group, and I'm, I'm a, you know a lone lamb at this point. And um, in Marmaris, in Marmaris, I didn't know the name of my hotel. How did you get lost? Just drunk. Yeah, what? you just lost the boys. Yeah, I just I just go on my own little adventures and stuff, but I didn't know the. It was a ten minute walk to the strip, and it took me six hours to find home. <laughs> and um, I've done that before in Edinburgh. My first year in my first night ever at the Fringe, I did the exact same thing. Got absolutely twatted at the Just the Tonic um, launch party at the mm. Fringe. My flat was just past the grass market, so it's like a ten minute walk from the caves. Took me hours to get home, and I pooed on a traffic island. <laughs> this is a confession box, so you're right. fine there. <laughs> so I got lost. I was walking for two and a half hours <laughs> in the Turkish... I'm having a shot of tequila. <laughs> go on. In the Turkish wild. Anyone want? Do you want a shot of tequila, Jamie? Uh, yeah, go on. Then. Why not? When's the Jamie, are you no? able to say no? Yeah. Do you really want one? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Right. <laughs> the shot glasses you got us off? Adam's got a meeting. That's all. Do you know, after the NFL game in Camden, when I took ages to get home, I did that. Our bar from hotel was a five-minute walk, but I pissed, was convinced it was the other way. And just started walking and was confused as to why it took me two and a half hours to get home. Don't smart though. You always do find your way home, don't oh, you? I know I got a taxi. I had to eventually get a taxi. No, but like even that. Right. Like, no matter how hammered you get, yeah. you always somehow manage to find a way home. Jesus. And like I remember <laughs> the last time I went out with um a friend of the pod and have a weird Hall of Famer, Alfie Brown. He said, I was so drunk, he shoved me into a taxi. And this is when I lived in West Derby. And Alfie was like, Adam, I don't know your address. And you're going to have to tell this guy now what it is. And I was like... And he said, I looked at the driver and went... (laughs) And the driver went, yeah, not a problem. And Alfie was like, there's absolutely no way he's just communicated where we live. But what I'm going to do is let the driver drive wherever he thinks that was. And then when we get there, we'll figure it out. And then 12 minutes later, we pulled up outside my house. And to this day, Alfie's convinced that that was some kind of wizardry. Yeah. <laughs> you're a sc- yeah. <laughs> yeah. If you're from West London, a pissed scouser talking to a scouse taxi driver probably does sound like, like some sort of wizardry. <laughs> but if you're a scouse taxi driver, you've probably heard so many different addresses and places. Like, yeah. Oh, that's fucking me. There's in one reference point, don't there? Because I, I woke up once after a gig. I drink the blackout, so I've had that now. I will wake up tomorrow at like midday. So I, like, oh, fuck, what have I said? 12 hours later. Are you gigging me? tonight? Yeah. Where? <laughs> Frog. What are you doing? Opening. Oh, there you go. That'd be sad. Um, Jamie's out of the middle. Oh, yeah, baby. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I woke up once with a bag full of chocolate <laughs> and nothing else. Bag full of chocolate, no phone. Wallet all over the place. What has gone on here? So then I need to retrace my steps and stuff. So I've lost my phone. I jump on Facebook Messenger. And I messaged someone who was on the gig with me and went, hey, did we get paid in chocolate last night? <laughs> <laughs> that was your first thought. Mate, I am never doing a corporate for Willy Wonka ever again. <laughs> okay, no. 
compared on by an umpa lumpa. I went, have you got loads of chocolate? I nearly said a name then. <laughs> no. Not, not today. <laughs> not on this pod. Umpa lumpa. No. Well, I uh, woke up with loads of, uh, what, loads of chocolate. Oh, I've just got that. <laughs> <laughs> They got keep mentioned. talking. They, yeah, they got keep... mention one of our special uh, exclusive. Sorry, that's funny. It just made me laugh. Um, I'm like, what's gone on? Where's this chocolate come from? I get a knock on the door. A disgruntled, but you know, quite sound taxi driver. He's like, oh, Jamie. No, it's a bad sign when the taxi <laughs> driver knows your name. <laughs> <laughs> Weren't an Uber anyway. It was it was pre Uber, I think. Uh, black cab, and he went. Got your phone? I went, oh fuck! fuck did I drop it in the taxi? He went. Have you got my chocolate? <laughs> <laughs> that was the deal. <laughs> so he sent me home. I've got no cash on me, right? Uh, he couldn't pound cards back then, um, and uh, I went. Oh, I've got money in the house. I always keep my rent money on the mantelpiece. Yeah. Right. So, um, <laughs> me, uh, my mum's obviously taken the money. You know. As it's her right. Uh, so there's no cash in the house. I'm like, for fuck's sake, what am I going to do? So I went round and emptied all my mum's multi packs of chocolates. And I went, there's 20 quid worth there. He didn't accept it. And I went, oh, I have my phone then. <laughs> Did you take your phone? He said, I'll keep it because I was so pissed. I went, oh, I have my phone. I have my phone. Oh, it's clever. And he went, I'll take his deposit. I'll come back tomorrow. He was really sound, to be fair. What did you did you end up paying him in cash? Yeah, just, I got uh, twenty quid then. Just uh, give it him back. Yeah. Shout out all the taxi drivers. It's a rough fucking gig, isn't it? <laughs>